Hi, my name is Maggie and I work at Yardi on the Solutions Consultancy team. Today I'm going to be running you through an introduction into our resident app, essentially taking you on a journey of how residents can firstly download the app and access it easily, and then taking a look a little bit more into the functions they can use, such as helping to guide them through the move-in process with some move-in documents and a self-inspection, as well as then once they're a resident, how they can make payments, submit maintenance requests and book community spaces, as well as also engage with their wider community on things such as bulletin boards. Hope you enjoy it and let's get started. As you can see here, I'm able to quickly sign in so residents can actually download this quickly and easily from the App Store, as well as being able to access it just via a username and password. And you'll see as soon as I've logged into the app, what I'm able to do is see things such as announcements. So we can push things out such as, um, you know, getting them to write a review. We're able to push out collateral. So in terms of your marketing collateral and invite our residents to events, they can RSVP to directly from the app, as well as pushing out things such as an inspection form to help them with their move in. So where they're completing an inventory, for instance, this can now all be taken online via this app. If I click off my announcements page, you're able to see that I'm logged in as Jessica Fuller. And actually what I'm able to review on here is a quick snapshot of my account balance, as well as then being able to make a payment from this, as well as submitting things such as maintenance requests and engaging with the bulletin boards to review what is actually happening within my community. Now, if I go onto the sidebar, you'll see this is the full functionality of the app in here. And to start off with, first of all, we're able to help you residents transition into your property by offering things such as the your guide section. So in here, what you're able to do is actually push out things such as your welcome pack into the resident app to really ensure that all of your residents get a warm welcome to your property, as well as things in there such as a move in checklist, for instance. So really, they know at all the key steps what they have to do before they physically get the keys and move into your property, as well as pushing out any other marketing collateral on here as well. And essentially, once you've pushed out things such as your move-in guides, what we can do is actually under the sign documents tab, get them to actually sign things so that we know they've read them and they've engaged with the material on there. Where this is also important is where we have the My Documents section. So just like we have those move-in guides, what we're able to do is push out statutory compliance documents, such as your EICR, your health and safety policies, and so on, so that our residents are always able to access those documents. But also, in the meantime, also we can have a signature for our own audit purposes in order to ensure that everyone is complying with these rules before they've stepped foot into your property. As well as actually adding on to this, once they've moved in, we can push out things such as your apartment manuals. So for anything they actually have included within the apartment itself, what we can do is actually give them the guides to any of those particular appliances. For instance, we've got an Apple TV. So actually they can troubleshoot if they have any issues when they first move in. That are the main sort of areas that we can actually include within this resident app first and foremost. We are also able to, as I mentioned earlier, have an inspection form in here. So essentially what the inspection form does is it allows them to actually complete an inventory when they first move into your property. So you can see actually it follows a logical order and all they have to do is simply click into, for instance, your bedroom and also give it a rating of a pass or fail. They have the option to add in a brief description and photos if needed as well. And essentially what this does is this will then feed through to your property. So you're able to actually store a record of this against the resident profile. And actually, if you need to, um, at the end of their tenancy, take a look at what was actually reported as faults in the inventory, we're able to quickly access this information online. As well as those move in tools, which I've just shown you, you'll see in here that we also have the ability to create maintenance requests. So if I, for instance, go into one of my maintenance requests I've previously done in here, I can see that I actually have a scheduled status on this. So what it does is it will show me the work order which has been attached and also it will show me all of the particular categories that I've already filled out. So in here we have an electrical fault is with the wiring in bedroom two. And essentially what I'm able to do is under my all requests is review the status of these particular requests in here so I can see exactly when the property has scheduled them, when the work's been completed, as well as if I needed to go in there and review any technician notes they've left for me. So I'm able to actually keep up in real time of anything that is happening in here. So you'll see that I'm able to review maintenance notes 
if there is other things that need to be included in those notes, I'm also able to interact with my maintenance engineer. And you'll see that we have also the option to have a rate us button in there. So actually you can get some feedback along the way of when your residents are putting in these maintenance requests of how they found that particular experience. As well as our maintenance request, we also have the ability to review all of our payment details. So you'll see in there we can review the balance details and we are also able to make payments directly from this app. With the introduction of our YPP, Yardi Payment Processing, essentially what you can do is get your residents to set up a direct debit on this app. So it actually reduces the need to make any one-time payments. And essentially what this does is bring all of those payments within the Yardi framework. And if you need more information about this, please just reach out to us at any time. As well as the functions I've kind of said, which are standard in the app, what we can also do in here is have the ability to allow a concierge function to work. So essentially, if you have a receptionist or a concierge uh, desk at your properties, what we can do is actually engage with that person on the desk via this app. So if we have, for instance, any package deliveries, we can be notified of those and where they are to be picked up from. We're also able to go back into that concierge tab and do things such as authorise guests who are coming to stay with us, as well as reserve amenity spaces. So if you have properties that have communal spaces that can be booked out for your residents, you'll see here that I can actually go through this quick form and I can say specifically what I need, where I, when I need it, and you'll see that actually I can ask for a notification once it's been approved by the property. And you'll see the time slots here. So I'm again going through and booking this. And actually what we can do is associate a cost charge to that. So before I hit reserve, your resident knows exactly what they have to pay as an extra for this particular amenity. Now, lastly, what I wanted to mention as well is the importance of the deep links that you'll see here within our app. So you'll see that we have a deep link to Deliveroo and Uber at the moment. So essentially what we can do is deep link other apps into this app so that actually your residents can go directly into Deliveroo or Uber without having to log off this particular app and go into that one. Straight away, we can make that link. Now, you can use as many of these deep links as you want. And essentially what it can aid you with is to push out links to perhaps suppliers that you would recommend for your residents to use, be it a cleaning company or be it an IT company and so on. So essentially what you're able to do is really utilize that deep link in to offer all of the sort of useful links that your residents might need while staying with you at your property. And that was a quick snapshot of the resident app. I hope it's given you some insight into what we're able to do and push out on this app. And please, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us at any time. Thank you very much and bye-bye.